Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gemini's Art. And hey, I want to really apologize for not posting a video for a really long time. I've just allowed life and my own stupid depression get in the way. But now I'm back on track. So let's go ahead and start drawing Dr. Cross. Before this drawing, I actually have been drawing this character quite a while in a lot of different panels. So I finally got a technique on exactly what outfit, what kind of face, and what kind of hair looks best for him. And to be honest, I think this is the best looking drawing I've ever done of Dr. John Cross Jr. Let's move on to the coloring. As you can see, I actually kept a template of his colors from a drawing I already did of him. I tend to color by layers, as you know from other videos. Layers are a big godsend for me because I tend to mess a lot of things up. So, and then of course, for myself, I do the erasing, which to be honest, is kind of annoying and therapeutic at the same time because I always have an idea of exactly where I want to erase, but I always forget how big the actual stylist is slash brush. So then I would have to go over it sometimes and again and again and again. So let me tell you a little bit about Dr. John Cross Jr. John was born a child prodigy being of superhuman intelligence due to his foreseeing ability, both seeing the future that will happen and what might happen, due to free will and destiny. John was born to a very spiritually hearted mother and a very scientifically minded father. His mother herself also had seer foresight ability, but she died at a very young age with a mysterious brain aneurysm. On John's mother's deathbed, John's father swore to his wife that he will find the cellular connection between the physical and the spiritual to make her proud. John's father was a learned and renowned scientist that dedicated his life to finding the connection between the spiritual and the physical, but it was cut short for he too died of a mysterious brain aneurysm. So John Cross continued his father's research. With the aid of Lorna Christ, his father's lab assistant, Dr. John Cross Jr. was able to discover the side cluster with activated with the person's strong spiritual belief system enables the host to be conduits to any to all strong energies, thus explaining supernatural abilities in people. So there you go guys. What do you guys think about Dr. Cross? He's a character that I actually developed a little after I came up with my comic book idea. I thought of him as being kind of a mentor-like character, and then he was developed into something more and more. And actually, I'm very, very proud of the type of character he turned out to be. And to be honest, I think the more the character developed, and this is getting a little deep here, the more I started to get closer and better relationship with my own father. I've always had a good relationship with my dad, but it's always kind of been strained because of the divorce in my family. 
but I believe the character Dr. Cross is loosely based off my father and other men in my life that I've known that have kind of been mentors. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this character or what? The next video I'm going to do is shading this drawing and telling you a little bit about how Dr. Cross developed the current insiders. Thank you so much for checking out this video once again. And there's two ways for you to support me. Check out Fiverr.com and check out my new Patreon. The links will be in the description. And have a groovy day and God bless.